I, um, <clears throat> I haven't properly congratulated you on your engagement. I, I'm sorry I was unable to attend the party. You were working and saving lives, more important. <laughs> I missed out on so many things in my son's life. Nathan broke his arm when he was in the fourth grade. He never told me that. Little League. He absconded with the base. <laughs> I think it's called stealing. He charged right into the other player and knocked him over. No fear. <sighs> when he stood up, his arm hung at an unnatural angle and he, he passed out from the pain. <laughs> this is his school picture from that year. Only nine. And already a man of courage and daring. What a cutie. Even then. My sister. My sister told me he was in a cast for a month. I wish I could have seen him. Done something for him. But I was half a world away. I've never been there for my son. But you're here now, and that is what matters. Nathan's gonna be fine. You'll see. You can go in and see him now. Oh my God. You can go. Um, it'll be good for Nathan to know that his mom is here. Nine. He was the one he wants to see. asking for you. Nathan. How are you feeling? Are you in pain? It's not so bad, no. I'll speak to Dr. Monroe about adjusting the dosage. Ah, uh, don't, don't. You don't have to worry. Hi. We're worried. You survived two gunshot wounds. And now a head trauma. Maybe it's time to consider a desk job. That's just what I was thinking. I, I love you both, but I'm a cop. And I'm always going to be a cop. End of discussion. You can't fault us for trying. We just like having you around all the time in one piece. And I appreciate that. What happened tonight was my fault. Damn it. What happened to Carlos? Franco. Hey. Hey. My, my brother. Oh. Is he okay, Jay? Are you all right? I came as soon as I could. 